rib bones. We don't want rib bones. We're just following that down. Minding those rib bones. Okay, and as soon as you start to get to that more stomachy meat, where it opens up, right into the gut cavity, because that's what it'll do. It'll open right up into the gut cavity, because that's skin right there. I usually just cut through right there, and then I'll just take the rest, take that half right off. So I'll just take that half right off. Come down. And I'll just cut through the skin right at the top because right there you're not going to get a lot of meat. That's where it come, kind of comes off. You know, a little bit more than I thought. But. All right. I try to cut off that that dorsal fin or that body fin. All right, with the top part here, because you're going to be in the gut cavity meat. Well, you'll see what I'm saying in just a second here, because that'll make a problem when you go to fillet this here in a minute. Oh, come on, cooperate with me. So I don't need that after all. All right. So here we have essentially the whole half of the fish. You know, we're looking at that for leftovers. While it's still attached, I just come through. It's kind of sticky, but. And then we're just going to fillet that off like you would any other fish. Hopefully, anyway. Let's we'll see how this process goes. Knife's a little dull. Duller than I'd like it to be. That's alright. Oh, see, I missed the spot. That's gonna cost me. Cost me time and energy here. I think I can manage. Alright. Just because Obviously, don't make that mistake, but I only have so much time here. I want to show you what I do to uh, get all the pin bones out, because that's really the essential part here. That's the uh, the trickiest bit of all this. So what I like to do is I like to just run my knife down it, get off some of that extra, excess sludge, and it really helps me find the pin bones. Now, the pin bones generally run down towards the stomach meat, so I like to be on the back side of it, or you can do it for whatever side's best for you. And we're going to take those pin bones, just like you would rib bones, just gently not cutting through them we're going to open that up a little bit basically butterflying a pork chop or what have you All right, so you want to start by the top here and you can see it's got a lot of meat up here and it kind of comes down into less meat that's where those pin bones start so that's what you got to do to help yourself that's what you got to do Alright, so we'll get behind one or two of them anyways. Getting started is the hard part. Figuring out which direction they're traveling is also kind of tricky. But I like to just kind of run my knife down in there in a direction that's above them. Just to open it up a little bit. I want to be above it. And get it opened up. And then once you got it opened up, it, it starts to be a lot easier. And then you can figure out which, which direction they're traveling as well. I wound up going in the wrong direction. They actually travel towards the 
back of the fish, it looks like here. But one way or the other, I'm just opening it up. Remember, the goal here is not to cut through them. Cut them, up, cut them in half. You want them as intact as possible. You're just trying to open it up and keep them all in that meat. You're not trying to frag it all up. You're just going to open them right up. Softly cutting it, opening it up as you go. Once you get to a certain depth in there, you'll really get to see them. And then you can just travel along with them in the direction that they're going. This one's pretty lateral, so... So we're just going to open them up. Get on the side of them. Open it up. Get behind them. Open it up. I missed a couple there, so we're just going to come through each individual one of them. I'm just going to cut them free. <laughs> just like you would, you know, when you're filleting it itself, but you got to be a little bit more gentle in this process. And once you open it up to a certain point, they'll just it'll just lay right out for you. You don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, so you got it opened up. It's opened up. Right along them pin bones. Now what you want to do is take the tip of your knife and begin to pry them out. You just want to open it up if you have to. My knife is sharp on both sides. It's sharp on this side and this side, so I'll just figure out what it's doing and I'll just pick it up okay and that really helps me get underneath them and get it out if you have to just use the sharp side you know whatever best technique for you or the, within the tools that you have of course okay and you just want to get underneath them from the middle and you're going to cut up or down or whichever direction is going to be easiest for you. So basically, you're just looking at that same technique throughout the entire fish. I got a little meat there, but that's all right. You should know by hearing it that you, you're definitely on those pin bones. All right, so you're going to get underneath it, cut up. And you're going to just do this through the entire fish. Kind of get somewhere in the middle of it, because that's where you're going to want to be. Yeah. Prime them up. Get them going. Hit the next bone. Get going. Hit the next bone. Get going. Hit the next bone. Get going. The next bone. Get going. Until you hit every single pin bone. This is this is a 15 minute fish. You know, you're you're looking at something like that for each one of these. 
but it's certainly worth it with the quantity of meat that you get and the quality of the meat that you get. Um, so I, I like it. I enjoy it anyways. But there is a secondary row that is a little bit more difficult to get out than these. Um, that's towards the tail of the fish. Um, it can be a little bit more complicated to get those out. So we're just going to go through. Get this. Oh, kind of missed that one. That's alright. Get that out. Get that out with the pliers later. Okay, now what you should have is something that looks like this. You know, it's still attached, but those are all those pin bones. And you've opened it up. So you want to take your pliers at this point. You just want to get in there and grab each one of them and pull down. Get in there, pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Each one of them is going to stand out pretty, pretty dominantly on its own. Don't, don't do too many at a time. You don't want to get greedy with this process because then you're going to start tearing up the meat. And you don't really want to do that. If they're little bits, little bitty at the bottom of the stomach meat or towards the back of the fish, they're not so bad. Um, they'll, a lot of that's going to burn out. You just want the ones kind of like towards the middle of the fish itself because those are the ones that don't cook up and you know with the fillet and everything like that. And if they break, you still should be able to see it. Pull it right out. Um, we're just pulling and going. We're just, I mean, after you get it opened up and, and worked and everything, it's generally a straightforward process that you'll see everything and you can grab every single one of them. And as they get to the tail of the fish, it's not super so critical that you get all of it because, like I said again, you know, that's going to cook out fairly easy. And if one doesn't come up, you know, that you missed or something, just go back through it and hit it with your knife and should come right out for you. Okay. Now those secondary ones, they're out towards the tail a little bit. They're a little bit trickier to find. On the, on the bigger the fish, the easier it is to, to locate them and find them and everything. There they are. You just feel them a little bit sticking out here. And what I'd, I don't generally do this this technique with it because it'll pry them up weird. Um, so I, I just go ahead and I slice it just like I did the side ones. But I'll actually just cut through that meat and cut them right out because those ones are a little bit difficult to get out and do individually. They break real easy. So um, this is a two-part video. And again, if I wasn't running my pie hole, then this would go a lot faster. Gonna make sure we found them make sure we got them all. Oh, there's one I missed. Yeah, so you're just going to pry it out, grab it, pull it right out. There's another one I missed. You know, so you're going to grab it, cut it, pull it out. something on this right there. And grab it and pry it out. Get it out of there. And generally as a rule of thumb, I usually miss one or two, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, you, the goal is to get most of it. I'd rather pick out one or two in my sandwich while I'm eating it than every bone in the fish. Um, you know, because you might have cut a couple of things. Hey, you know what? Just cut that shit off. You know, it's not the end of the world to get rid of that. It's not going to hurt you. You know, you're not losing that much meat if you have to do something like that. Because you can't pick out every one of them. But there you'll have, essentially, an entire boneless filet. That'll flip over like that. That's, that's a normal filet. And this is entirely boneless. Um, so... You know, you're going to do that on both sides. Obviously, the second side's a little bit harder to open up because you got the other half of the fish off. But once you have the fillet like this, 
that's what it is and you're just going to go ahead and cook them up. So I'll show you my cooking video here in a second.